get back up because she can... No. Oh, you uh... hello. <laughs> For a minute there, that was awkward. You're really pretty. And now we're back to awkward. Unfortunately, that scene was meaningless on the wipeout course. Now, Tiffany Thomas, she'll... Oh, there it is. Right, now someone with a truly unique talent to conquer this course. Oh, I don't even want to know. It's okay. Jill uncovered it earlier. Sonia, you have a particular skill that I think is very interesting. What is that skill? Uh, I can lick my elbow. That's her skill? That's easy. Anybody can do that. So while I see about getting this laundered, let's see if that elbow-licking prowess can get her through Nana's house. Oh, she got licked, but now she's up and looking good. Oh, oh, oh. Nana's pitching a perfect game out there, Johnny. No. Oh, elbow licker down again. And Fido licking the elbow licker. Oh, oh, oh. Let's try that again. Really? Is she going to get up another time for that? Well, Jill, unless she licked paint chips as a kid, there is just no way she does the same thing a third time. <laughs> Sad. John, I don't know if she was delirious from a sugar high, an icy snowball, or a Fido double dog dared her because she did the same thing three times. <laughs> Johnny, speaking of triple dog dares, I dare you to go outside and lick that flagpole. Oh, really, Anderson? I'll be oh back in a minute. This tongue has never let me down. It put me through cold. No, oh, almost an air ball for the elbow licker. Anderson, check this out. It's like she's licking her elbow again. I'll be back in a minute. Oh, well, baby. Maybe we take a break. Are you kidding? It's like a dream come true. Screw you, big balls. Screw you. Oh, Well, if anybody's going to navigate Nana's house, it should be Kelsey Schulte. She's a tour guide, and Jill went behind the scenes earlier. Kelsey, what does it take to be a good tour guide? Um, you have to be confident, you have to be friendly, and you have to put up with a lot of little kids. Oh, Miss Schulte, I have a question. A yes. question. Um, what's in the water? You're horrible. You're awful. Jill, to be fair, no one knows what's in that water, but everyone that's tested it has been treated for dysentery. <laughs> Yahoo! Oh, oh. Tour's over. Oh, my eyes. It's a dysentery. Stings, right? Thank you for joining us. No refunds. <laughs> and remember to get your head stamped on the way out of the course for real. <laughs> everyone out. Allison, what do you got around your neck? Um, this is my 2008. Beijing silver medal for uh, women's water polo. Let me let me just hold on to it while you do the course because you can't you don't want to lose that. Yeah, it's so valuable. It's like <laughs> hold on. Ouch. Take it easy. It's not like it's gold. Done with one more competitor go. Oh, this is Allison Gregorka. She's down, but definitely do not count her out. Higher, faster, stronger. Our Olympian making record time to the snowplow sweeper. Got to be careful though. This obstacle's been clear and contestants off the road all day long. Yo, oh, John, I think she was in the wrong event. She could have won a gold for diving. That was perfect for her. Well, she's right. This course was made in China, although we only have 10% effective parts. This is how a true Olympian does wipe out. Oh, an awkward dismount. Yeah. She did only win the silver. Well, fine time today. Oh, Allison, good job. Here, I saved your medal. Yeah, thanks a lot. Now squatting at the peak of Mount Wipeout is mother of two, Carolyn Soto. <laughs> Mother of two what? Pterodactyls? Take it easy, Johnny. She's a fan. Oh, I apologize. Always nice to meet another one of my fans. Not, not yours, John. What? Jill got the story earlier. Carolyn, I hear you're a twi-hard, right? That's correct. What exactly is that? It's a die-hard Twilight fan. You know what I am? What? A wipe hard. What team are you on? I am Team Edward. I'm on Team John. You know, Anderson, as an aficionado of the occult, I have to admit I have some real problems with the validity of the Twilight series. For example, real vampires do not sparkle in daylight. Vampires actually aren't even real, John. Shh! Don't let the Miriam say that. Vampires have excellent hearing. Oh! Hey. Right now, I'm Team Sweeper Arm. And Team oh. Dutch Door. Twihard not invited into Nana's house. Tiptoes are way past Nana's hellhound. Oh, but get staked. Nana, not a gracious host. Vampires might not be welcome in Nana's house. But everybody else is, except the Irish. Long story. Jill offer you a homemade pie. Frozen berry. Oh, and banana cream. Oh, look at the gingerbread house. I know, right? Dana makes you feel right at home with hugs. It's over when he starts foaming at the mouth. Sweet B! 
biscuits. It's Fido's mortal enemy, a cat. Kitty's served a bowl of milk upside the head. That kitty's got to get her strength back to face Fido. Oh, now she needs a shot. You know, Johnny, seeing Nana's house explains so much about you. Thank you. Can I just try something? Will you trust me? I guess so. Wow, look at you. Incredible. What a transformation. Of course, she'll never see it because she's blind. My job here is done. I can't see without my glasses. And I can't chew without my teeth. This is 23-year-old Kate Harvey tubing down Mount Wipeout. Probably misses her glasses because she's a librarian. That's an ugly stereotype, John. Not all librarians wear glasses. Some wear contacts. Maybe so, but she didn't see the easiest route sign, and now she's going to get a look at the extremely difficult winter wonder plants. <laughs> she's checking them out. <laughs> Cross-reference. Oh, oh, that'll leave a bookmark. Holy thesaurus, she lost her eyes. Let's check in with Jill to find out more about our sightless librarian. Where am I? Extreme Makeover Jill Edition. Of course, that's taking away her ability to see. Anderson, hand me the megaphone. Okay. Okay, Kate, okay, just run really fast down the snow elevator. The big balls are huge and red. You can't miss them. Oh, did you see that? Because she did. She kept that girl a cane and a German shepherd. Well, somehow Kate's found her way to the snowplow sweeper. Halsey oh, showing no mercy to the optically challenged. Can't see without my glasses. Seeing is so overrated on this obstacle. It's really more about the feel. Oh, oh I think I felt that one. Keep your bones down. I'm trying to study here. Legal reasons has absolutely nothing to do with Jill taking away her glasses. That's probably for the moment. So let's check out the Winter Wonder Planks and Lizzie Daston, who has five degrees in art history. Wow, five art history degrees? What's a qualified well to do? Wait tables at the Louvre? You couldn't wait to get on that second plank. Oh, wow, she's getting a lot of air. Yeah, she's getting higher than her skin low. Oh, rush the great is there. Oh, she is so Monet and she doesn't even know it. As you might expect, contestants getting quite an education on our Winter Wonder Planks today. Oh, so we're great. Mother of three, Cindy K is in charge of the Winter Wonder Plank. Oh, mommy, dearest. I hope her kids didn't see that. You know, now that you mention it, Jill spoke to her earlier and she was not alone. In fact, people often tell me I have the mind of a three-year-old. Cindy's trying to think like a champion. Ooh. Nice job hanging out of that sweeper bar. Oh, oh. Mama Cena, she gets rocked by the Yule Log Jam. Let's catch up with 28-year-old Kim Carner. I'm gonna kill it! No, oh, I like her intensity. Let's see what Jill dug up about Kim. I've loved serial killers since I was a little kid. Not again. What would you look for in a serial killer? Acting awkward around others. Right. Um, awkward in social situations. Right. And what about involuntary arm spasms? Kim's not a killer, Johnny. She's getting her PhD in criminology. Crap. Well, if that doesn't make her into a better criminal, nothing will. Kim's <laughs> just toying with the planks at this point. <laughs> oh! And that laugh sounds fairly Well, killer Kim hot on the trail of the big balls. <laughs> Got him! And the big balls bumped her off. She's getting sloppy, John. She left her prints all over that white house. Oh, my God! You know, kill... Is that an elf trying to catch Santa? Actually, Johnny, that's hockey player Katie Rasmussen. What are we talking, field hockey, roller hockey, air hockey? No, she plays ice hockey. Oh, and oh. she better get to her feet or she's going to be the puck. <laughs> oh, and a one-timer by the snowplow sweeper. I count it. That was the rarely seen butt slap shot. Game on. Katie fired up to even the score. She is foaming at the mouth, Johnny. Then the head and shoulders. Ooh, she made a snowball disappear. That's quite a hat trick. She better hurry through the Yule Log Jam, though. The opposing team is vicious. Oh, cross check into the boards. This is a brutal match. Boy, luck, Katie. She is getting pummeled by the second line. But she's going to fight back here. The gloves are off. Oh, the Yule Log Jam dishing out a good old-fashioned ice kicker. Probably should have thought that out a little better. I don't know. I thought she was using her head. Talk about a face-off. The hockey honey really sunk her teeth into that up. Marty McSwirly, that has got to be a game misconduct. Well, the fans love her, and with a decent time of 546, she might be skating into All round right. two. Rasmussen, how you feeling? 
My face hurts. Ryan Camacho! Ryan Camacho, Johnny, who is it? Doing her pre-flight ritual is Monica Camacho. You'll find out she got the nickname Flying Camacho from her softball team. Now, do you have a nickname? They call me Flying Camacho because I dive a lot. So why isn't she called the Diving Camacho? And I always get the ball, and so yeah, Flying Camacho, they see me going everywhere. That is by far the dumbest nickname that I have ever... Okay, Flying Camacho taxiing her way to the hams. Flying Camacho! Oh, goodness. Let's see that on Smash Camp, Johnny. The Flying Camacho grounded. Yeah, she looks more like a flightless Camacho. Flying Camacho now boarding a snowdivator. Ooh, hitting some turbulence, but smooth sailing now. Oh! Yeah, she had her landing gear deployed, but smacks on the belly of the plane. That's what I call in-flight entertainment, Johnny. Planes from our holiday hams. <laughs> They're as happy as fake pigs in real mud. I think you did me dirty. For those cute little scarves, Johnny, they look like pigs in a blanket. That's a good idea. Careful, you reap what you sow. <laughs> What's shaking, baby? <laughs> Hey, you're the one that signed up for the show. Porky's from that. Oh, heck no. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, <laughs> Fly pal. They're too pretty, but they're me. Well, more misunderstood, really. What? They're staring at each other's butts all day, being mounted by contestants. How would you feel? Well, nobody gets a potty break until five. Pigs included. Whoops. Hey, Wagner's breaking the rules. There's no toilet paper back there. Seems like Jill's the only one not wiping out. <laughs> Finally, for the world's greatest snowball rampage. Uh, Wipeout! New record! New record! Did she just say new record? New record! John, this is our final contestant, Cheyenne and Rico, and she claims, as you heard, that she's going to set some new records on our course. And it's an instant classic, Johnny. That's what I call a hit. New records are my motto! Really? Because mine is... Shut it! Record! New record! Sounds more like a broken record, John. <laughs> She's skipping. New records. I sure hope she says new records again. New records. New. Oh, actually, this broken record might have just set the record for most ridiculously satisfying wipeout. New records. She's getting rid of the Guinness Book for worst beating by an inanimate object. But with the time of 6.20, Cheyenne makes it to the next round by a mere 14 seconds. Hey, is that some kind of record? No. Well, she looks pretty relaxed. Let me just try to adjust her lumbar support here. Press this button. Whoops. Whoa! Oh, yeah. oh, sweet, sweet blob, how I missed you. You wore my heart these cold winter months. Long sky high and blob your own. Let's have Jill get us up to speed on our first contestant. Okay, guys, I've got Joanne Dutromble down here with me. Joanne, welcome to Winter Wipeout. How are you doing today? Woohoo! I'm good, a little bit cold, but I'm excited. Where are you from? I'm British, but I've been in California for 20 years. So you have a nickname, right? What is it? Human garbage can. I just eat huge amounts of food. I'm always hungry. Where do you put it? Uh, well, you know. Uh, yeah, I hope she puts it in her mouth. Blob, out of the way, Euro trash, ready for the big balls. She looks intimidated. Rubbish, she's totally relaxed. I think I just peed myself. Maybe a little too relaxed. European John, fewer inhibitions. She's off, steadies herself, now mind the gap. <laughs> Joanne, oh! <laughs> Johnny the Snowdivator just took out the Euro trap. I hope she recycled her cans. He lands like trash on a bar. Uh-oh, here we go again. Surely the worst is over. Oh, Johnny, the yellow bar actually silenced her into a nap. Hey, Joanne, I know the Yule Log is relaxing, but are you okay to continue? Yes, I'm okay. All right, crank it up. Oh, bangers and splash. Utah. No, John, she's lying. Woo. I'm looking at a copy of her driver's license. She's 26. Why would she lie, man? Jill, what's the deal? Uh, you told us you were a horse trainer, but you're not. Right. Why would you do that? Why would you lie to us? Um, to get on TV, I guess. Well, it worked, didn't it? Big fat liar. Her pants are on fire. She is off to the gingerbread house. Oh, oh Lord, the liar gets fact-checked by our flying pie. Yeah, a little <laughs> present from the truth fair. Look at the dirty liar now, Johnny. No! Oh, 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 oh. Shoots a gumball to the face. Now you can show him the door. Well, the truth hurts. 
Well, it's no lie that the gingerbread house is graciously. <laughs> to another. Here's Alyssa Anguiano. I got the fever, baby, and that fever is for Justin Bieber! Woo! Bieber fever? I hear they're working on a vaccine. Don't worry, it's only contagious if you like the sweet sounds and smooth moves of a waifish teenage pop star. Oh good, I'm safe. Alyssa doesn't seem to be showing any ill effects, though. Down the ramp and off to the gingerbread house. Hey, John, did you know that Justin Bieber is a Pisces who loves spaghetti? Wow, that is uh, some extensive research, John. <laughs> Oh, research and destroy. She gets creamed by our eye, smashed by the door. Not as big a smash hit as Justin Bieber's song, You Smile. Oh, oh out of the face. Ah, oh, the hits just keep on coming. Awesome. But not as awesome as the vocal stylings of one Justin Bieber. What has gotten into you? Oh, she falls hard for Justin. That's going to be another YouTube favorite. Did you know Justin Bieber got his start on YouTube? Where? That would be 21-year-old Monica Day. Привет, Wipeout. Очень хорошо. Давай. I am watching you, John Henson. What? Why is she watching me? Is the KGB infiltrating Wipeout? Relax, John. Monica's from Oregon. She works with kids. Jill? I have to ask you this. Are you a spy? I am student teacher. I get my teaching credential to teach your children. See? Teach them to spy. Say something in Russian. Привет, меня зовут Monica. Как дела, Jill? И шлопки по What did you say about me? I said, hi, my name is Monica. Hello, Jill, and spank your butt. Sure you did. <laughs> sure you did. Spy! She's faking the accent, can't you tell? Only one way to find out. Interrogation. Oh, oh that'll get her to talk. She's role-playing. She does this kind to teach her students about different cultures. You know, I'm with you, Henson. I don't trust this Red Monica. Both of you are being ridiculous. John, did you even see Red Dawn? I did. You did? Was it good? Pay attention. Oh, oh that's gonna leave a mark, sis. I bet she wishes those red balls were more like red squares. You are really paranoid. Come on, John. There is a cold war going on. Heck yeah. Release the snowballs. My father will be near you haven't met my Uncle Sam. Johnny, she is an American citizen. Yeah, as American as an apple pierogi. I believe that's Polish. Whatever, sympathizer. No! Oh, holy Cuban Ooh. Missile Crisis. The sweeper on Sailor to Siberia. I hope she's seeing stars and stripes. Oh, brother. She has made it to the final obstacle. Oh, you came to throw stumbles at me. USA, USA, USA. You guys just are not getting this. Oh, oh, oh. oh take that, you ruski. Monica's a red menace that can't be stopped, John. She's just toying with it. I must thank Blanche for communism. Communism? Yes. See? We caught her red-handed. Everyone finish at the same time. John, if she makes this jump, it could be the end of Wipeout and everything we stand for. <laughs> oh, and fall for. That is bullshit. Someone get me vodka now. Oh, she's speaking my language now. Drag a letter. Uh, during the next break, John, you and I need to have the talk. You mean the one about the bugs and the bears? No, way. Oh, hit me, baby, one more time. She has run down and tossed into the drink. Well, at least she's taking those mommy and mommy and me swim classes. You know what they say, breakfast is the most important and painful meal of the day. Cynthia clawing her way through the second oven. Oh, it's a big bowl of slapjacks. Cynthia moving on to the third course. That's the delicious cereal. Honey bunches of oh no. Now Cynthia's covered in milk, John. She's like a human cat tree. I bet Moo Moo and Earmuffs are licking their chop. Now for the best part of any healthy breakfast, giant sausage links. Yeah, and you do not want to know how those things are made. Oh, wow, she just got drowned and served. Cynthia, though, going after that sausage again. I can do this. Ah, spring is the perfect time for blind optimism. That was brutal. Come on. Our burglar Johnny on the hunt for some tasty wipeouts. First up, she'll have to bag and tag Footsie Daisy. Okay, the wheels on the bus, they go round and round. Yes, they do, unlike the wheels in your head. Woo! Okay, she's up on Flipsy Daisy. Go! Oh, and the burner went round and down into the bus. Robin now trying to gauge the second Flipsy Daisy. Great! Now she knows how it works. Jump on! Yep, that's it. And stay. Exactly. I got the Oh, boy. Apparently, some murderers like to return to the scene of the crime. And she appears to be drinking the water. Awesome! Can make a meal out of anything. I'm quite a horse. 
Yeah, even we don't know what that is. All I know is that Ballsy makes it in the basement of his barber shop. Holy cow, those giblets are so fresh, they're still fighting back. Looks like Ballsy should have cooked that dish a little longer, Johnny. It's still jumping. It's not coleslaw, it's quiche. Hey. Made out of coleslaw. He's not for a Unleash the quiche! Now she has to make it over these giant hot dogs. Oh, Ballsy, she is flipping over your giant portion. One more dog to bridge. Nice. Oh, the birder laid out. She just couldn't stomach the second dog. <laughs> Compliment to the chef, no doubt. Getting up to take another bite now. Just hop right over. Hey, good advice, Jill. It worked. See how easy that was? <laughs> oh. oh, boy. I don't think that was fair. At the top of the course, John, we, we have more fighting going on. Yeah, except she's fighting air and herself. Jill, what's the deal? All right, fellas, Sasha Bersek is down here with me. Tell me what's around your neck. I have two Arnold Schwarzenegger medals, gold medals, and just one for my Taekwondo Academy for sparring. Let me see some moves. All right. Yeah. You want me to hold these for you? Yes, please. I could kick up your head. Perhaps Sasha can show her karate skills, spar with the big ball. Off she goes. Ooh, one-handed. <laughs> oh, John, I think when you're holding your nose up here, you're already admitting defeat down here. Or maybe she's going to whip a Ballsy's kitchen. John. Over the kitchen, John. She got seconds. He invited 24 of his closest friends over, and they came a-running. Oh! People couldn't get enough giblets of... What is that? We literally had to beat them away. Oh. Not only were the guests gaga over his exquisite quiche, but his giant hot dog's also a big hit. Oh! About that, but they are possessed. Majewski, who recently became a vegetarian. And this is every vegetarian's waking nightmare. Ah, nice move. Caitlin, doing her best to avoid meat, meat byproducts, and fillers. Oh, and she's doing it. Only taking bites out of the suffering succotent. But Johnny, I don't know if the hot dogs are going to take kindly to a vegetarian. Oh, oh, there's your answer. The hot dog ground her into a veggie burger. Yeah, well, the veggie burger is out of the freezer, and she is a glutton for punishment. This one's getting nuked, Johnny. Those hot dogs, they don't like to eat their veggies, Johnny. Meatless Majewski, just a short jump from the finish. Nah. And Meatless Majewski takes an end dive straight into the pool. But with a time well under six minutes, Meatless Majewski probably going to be welcomed into the next round. Your words, not mine. All right, let's go to down to our first contestant, Claire Boissy. I'm to dominate you! Yeah, I'm guessing she's never seen the show. Here's hoping Claire brought more today than just her lack of coordination. Jill? Yeah, Claire, uh, what are you into? I like building things, fixing things. I'm pretty fixity. I like to is that what? do a project. Well, is that a word? Yeah, fixity. Wow, That's so are you, are you really into tools and stuff like that? Yeah, yeah. You know what my favorite tool is? What? David Haswell. <laughs> Not nice, Jill. When have millions of Germans ever been wrong? Claire sprinting toward the first staircase. I don't get it. I'm not scared. Stairs leading to a trapeze bar with a helpful handrail. Oh, holy oh. misdirect. Misjudged. Someone better fix it that handrail. Then while they're at it, maybe fix it Claire. Claire's fine. Still hustling, in fact. Well, at least she's too smart to fall for that handrail gag again. Oh, oh that's smart. Hey, fluff or nothing. Gotta go through the ovens and over the marshmallows and peanut butter and then hop the rolling pins. Make a mess of that and it is a sticky swim to this finishing spot. Ah, uh, PB and Marshmallow Sammy's, John. And his favorite snack. She always keeps one handy in her bosom. Oh, peanut butter to the face. I hope that's not junky. Oh, peanut butter and beef down. Two great tastes that taste great together. Claire, out of the marshmallows, rolling pins dead ahead. Oh, oh, no. Did you see her legs hit her? Oh. I know, because she hit her oh, on the bone. Oh, like, oh. On the floor. You know, I have fun. This is fixed me. And her time of 4.50. Wow. Well, Karen, have you ever done anything like this? Oh. Yeah, let's try that again. What would you buy with the 50 <laughs> Listen to me! <laughs> See, that's a pet, John. My pleasure. Not to be rude, but let's move on and pick up Karen in the kitchen. Oh, oh it's cold reception from the peanut butter. Oh. Yeah, Karen, not even minding her manners in the kitchen, John. Everything in the food. And I didn't see her put a napkin in her lap. Banana's now flying. Well, that's always a nice addition to the fluffer nut. Oh, rudely interrupted by the rolling pins. Up top is cute as a bug, 27-year-old Christina Schaub. Babe, I love you. I'm going to win this for you. 
Hey now, finger language. That's too feisty for a family show. Yeah. Hold it, Johnny. This isn't what it appears. Let's get the full story from Jill. What finger is that? <laughs> <laughs> My ring finger. That's... See, just a ring finger. I'm engaged, recently engaged. Bring that sensor bar back. Better safe than sorry, Johnny. Some fingers you just can't unsee. <laughs> That's love. That is. I can't even do that. And you shouldn't, Jill. The network has been all over us since they realized Ballsy's been naked this whole time. Oh, my God. Calling in the big guy for a favor. Oh, oh. he ducks and avoids the wipeout. Prayer's answered. Oh, oh. staircase flips her off. Big screams, Johnny. Definitely not forever holding her peace. The staircase objects, and this union, Christina, ends her spring fling, and now heating up in the oven. Hey, hold up on those fluffer nutters, sister. You want to fit into that dress? Ooh, there hasn't been a woman covered in this much peanut butter and marshmallows since the fiance's bachelor party. Oh, yeah. Desperately trying to hold on. Hold oh, on. no. Yeah, she needs something borrowed and something buoyant. Form of flattening. Got a little something waiting for Amanda. Play nice, Jill. <laughs> Wait a minute, I think Jill wants her to slip on that banana peel. Oh, for shame, Jill. Ah, I would have hit her. She didn't fall first. Jill sabotaging her lady crush while the rolling pin crushes her lady crush. Amanda powering through, one last rolling pin to go. No, no, no. no. This is my dream! Woo! Yeah! And we start off with the youngest entry today. This is 19-year-old Camille Bulow. Jill found out that for her, being on Wipeout, more than just a dream. What made you want to come on the show? I want to go on the show because it's actually my bucket list. 19 and you have a bucket list already? Oh, yeah. yeah. You're here. But Check. I might as well go all the way. Johnny, what's a bucket list? List of all the things you want to do before you die. Oh, well, number one on my list is not dying. Before this 19-year-old confronts her own mortality, she'll have to confront bold over. Want to know what my favorite part of this obstacle is? Gigantic bowling ball? <laughs> oh, nope. Oh. It's the automatic contestant return. <laughs> wow. And the bucket list stops here. Not to worry, though. You always get a second roll if you need it in bowling. Oh, I wouldn't worry about that. You're not going to see it coming anyway. Oh, get smashed in the face by a giant beam? Check. Bucket list Camille taking a once-in-a-lifetime cruise down our spring evader. Oh. Oh, yeah, most people only dream of wiping out like that, Johnny. Camille is about to fulfill a fantasy of eating her way through an endless dessert buffet. It's chocolate pudding, and it's almost as good as my Nana's butterscotch pudding, because she uses real scotch. Oh! Johnny, I think she took her eyes off the pies. Camille, though, sensing the end is near, pressing onto the rolling pin. Oh! oh. She does have a ravenous appetite for life. Well, in that case, have some donuts. Oh! I hope her bucket list is laminated. Well, she's made it to the end, Johnny, and with a time of 4.40, bucket list Camille could be on our short list to move on. Johnny, who's Johnny? 28-year-old Molly Sanborn. Joy to the world, one cheese ball at a time. Is she quoting scripture? Woo! Jill, what's with the cheese balls? Molly, 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 what have you got on your back? Um, I have cheese balls on my back. You know, a good dermatologist could take that right off. Never even know it was there. Why? I decided to bring joy to the world, one cheese ball at a time. But the thing is, is no one wanted to stick their hand in the container, so I came up with a sanitary dispensing system. Oh, good. Where... This is amazing. So Can I have some? I would love to give you a cheese ball. Dog. Okay. I just got to tell you, three is above average. It's like magic. Most people only get two. The record's eight. Your cheese balls are crunchy. I never hand out stale cheese balls. Wow, look at her go. I think she's all hopped up on cheese balls, Johnny. Yeah, you know, she leaves a trail of them wherever she goes. It's like Miss Pac-Man in reverse. Ooh, Ooh. this cheese ball just got crunched. <laughs> Say cheese. Please be nice. Nice? We are nice. <laughs> oh, see? When you come to the wipeout lanes, you always get a strike. <laughs> As contestants try to outrun our giant bowling ball, <laughs> they get sent straight to the gutter. Ah! Not well, we are. Bowled over is good, clean fun for the whole family. Just getting started on her run is 25-year-old Sarah Weaver. Oh, wow! Bowling is brutal, John. That's why I always wear a helmet. Sarah could go far today, Johnny. Says here in her bio, she comes from a highly competitive family. Oh, well, that ought to make her family proud. Ish. Jill, talk family with Sarah earlier. Sarah, do you have a big family? Yeah, actually, I am the youngest of eight kids. Do you guys all get along? 
Actually, yeah. We're, we're all really, really close. We have our own family softball team. We go Team Taco Truck. Team Taco Truck? Tacos and trucks are like my two favorite things. I love this family. Next week, they have a playoff game against Team Spaghetti Van. <laughs> Whoa, let's see if Team Taco Truck can get it in gear for the big finish. Whoa! Oh, 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 Team Taco Truck. Sarah guts roll like a tortilla. The tortilla, John. Whatever, fancy khakis. Sarah will be the taco of the town with a great time. 350 up next. 33-year-old Christina Powers. Well, she is really good at whatever that is. What is it, Jill? What do you do? I'm learning how to break down. Can you teach me? Oh, I can teach you. Okay, okay. okay. Like, yeah. just do it. Do it. Yeah. Yeah, you have to, like, add some funk with the hand. Like, be funky. Yeah! There you are, Jill. Kristen, now get low. Now, can you add this into it? Oh, my God. I can't. Yeah! Do He's a bus driver. Dun, 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 dun. New way bus driver. <laughs> Why are you showing me that? Yeah, Jill, keep that funk in your trunk. Let's pick up our b-boy lady at the spring fling. Yeah. Oh, oh. Be careful, Christina. Wow, she knows how to bust a move. B-boy lady making a beeline through our kitchen. Oh, but she is getting oh. served by our funky fresh vibe. Makes it out of the oven, freestyles her way over that first rolling pin. Yeah, boy, lady. Oh, oh. oh it's like a time for b-boy lady to bounce. She's made it over that second rolling pin. Come on. No, don't fall. Don't fall. Thanks, Jill. <laughs> Anytime. Great advice, Jill. You set him up, and we'll... Oh! oh. oh. Knock him down. about cosmetologists. They love to chew gum. Hope Jamie's gonna settle for taffy. Taffy's great for the hair, John. Ask any child. Yeah, at least she can wash it off in caramel. No. Oh. Oh. Right in the sweet tooth. Oh. You think she also practices cosmetic dentistry? The cosmetologist now fighting the Tootsie Rolls through her sugar buzz, trying to keep that bounce and volume, Johnny. Oh, oh. oh. gadzooks! Not much bounce, but lots of volume. Oh, right in the split end. Way off the girl, huh? Sorry, Joe, that's not how the Tootsie Rolls. They're giving the cosmetologist a French twist. Come on, Jamie, you got this. Good job. Whether you need it or not, those Tootsie Rolls will wax your back. Poor girl. <laughs> Jamie certainly had some highlights on her run, Johnny. Finishes with a time around five and a half minutes. But she could use a relaxer right about now. Now back to the start is Deanna Fellows. Expect great things from her, Johnny. She's a professional. <laughs> oh, I'll let Jill explain that one. Who prefers a bow and arrow? This is Robin Kalana. She's an archer. Is she wearing camouflage? Yeah, if she's hunting my ties. Woo! Are you a good shot? Um, I placed um, like 15th in the world competition a few years ago. What? If I had an apple on my head, could you shoot it? Wait a minute. She hunts apples? They're on the endangered list. I'm afraid. You should be. She was like 15th. Yeah, John, but the apple is Mother Nature's craftiest fruit. Ow! Not your fault, Jill. I'm pretty sure it moved. Well, John, Robin Hood Colada now on the course and ready for some spring training. Oh, and she is getting serious airtime. Jill, are you getting a look at this? Oh. Ooh. Wow, how much target practice did they do? The bow and arrow is so antiquated. I prefer a more modern way to catch contestants. First, you find a hiding place. Shh. And sometimes I lay down a twig so I can hear them coming. And. Bingo! Oh, good plan, John. Thanks. This is going to be a great one for my collection. Remind me never to set foot in your trophy room. Humans, John, they are the most dangerous game. Robin Hood now tripping merrily along the spring of air. Go! <laughs> All the boys in the hood. It's always hard. Come talk in that trash and they'll pull your card. Robin Hood now aiming for that huge bullseye on the spring fling. She's got it made, Mary. No! <laughs> Don't call me Mary. A complete miss. Just like that Russell Crowe movie. Well, she has one more chance for redemption and hits the taffy head on. No doubt loading up on food to take back to the citizens of Nottingham. And they are going to feast on taffy and caramel and candy. Hope no one has hypoglycemia. Ah, she's stuck. But gets a little help for one of her merry men. Oh, or was that Jill? 
Well, John, looking completely fryer tuckered out, Robin Hood is going to make it in under seven minutes and possibly get into the next round. Hi. Now, Garland diving in. I might have tasted it first, but it's your wedding cake. Ooh, not very nice. A little bit of strawberry cake for you. Ooh, the lemon has quite a... Johnny, did you remember to bring the rings? Got them. There you go, Carla, eyeing that diamond. Diamonds are girl's best friend. Ah, we're best friend. Rice comes flying in. Oh, Carla goes flying back, gets up, moving forward like she hears a wedding march. Oh, she is determined to get to the altar. Oh, holy objection. With this ring, I the and wet barreling through the oven door. Oh, dropped into the glaze. Sweet back, Ben Johnny. How oh, romantic. Every little girl dreams about wearing white for a day. Oh, and now bullied by the filling. She is a stunner, but isn't everything sexier with icing? <laughs> Yeehaw! Oh, oh. Down. Finally, over those rings that are vowing to wipe her out. Oh, oh, oh. Dumped at the altar. Great. Yeah, take your time. But hurry up, you know, this is a race. College sweethearts in with a time of 634, Johnny. That earns them a sh How many drills are there? One. How many Johns are there? Two. How many big draws? Four. Wow, she can count to four and spell Schreckengost. Count as Diana Schreckengost sprinting out onto the faulty bridge. Oh, oh, oh. she didn't count on that. Yeah, she's got this. I'm not sure it's gonna add up. Oh, oh and the twister Woo. mill carries the one. Um, I'd probably take two months off of my bum life and live another bum life and just I'm bum. take time off of doing nothing. Good luck, Jessica. Yep, bum. Least our lazy bum didn't need to fish in the couch for quarters to do laundry. That's probably the first time she's done her own laundry or been her own laundry. Hey, at least now she won't smell like pizza pockets and failure. Oh, our water mat going to work on Jessica. She bum rushes that first scrubber and slacks off a bit, but slacks right back onto the second scrubber. Ooh, she's clinging to it like her daddy's credit card, Johnny. Lazy bum making it over. She might actually accomplish something here. She could have been a contender, Johnny, instead of a lazy bum. Which is what she is. Actually, Jessica rolls off the waterfront with a good time, so she shouldn't be bumming at all. And from a lazy bum, we go to a hard-driving newspaper reporter. This is 22-year-old Sonia English. Whoa! Oh, that'll be off the record. Oh. Sonia back up trying to meet her deadline. You know, she's got a nose for news, Johnny. Oh! Sonia gets the scoop. Hey, John, 28-year-old Millie Watson works for Animal Rescue. She's a foster mother for dogs. Oh, because she can't give birth to her own dog. <laughs> oh, no. Johnny, let's hope our puppy lover enjoys a good bath. Get clean! Dollar a wash. A dollar a wash? That's a doggone bargain. A lot cheaper than dry cleaning of Johnny. Oh, 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 I think we overdid it on the flea powder. Millie is on. Oh, oh that scrubber. Can rinse her off, please? I'm sudsy. Come on, Jill. Now she's going to have that wet puppy lover smell. That looks so hard. Oh, in a game of fetch with the scrubber, Millie dropped like a slobbery tennis ball. Who's a puppy lover? You're a puppy lover. Yes, you are. Millie makes a good time, 4.43, and she could still wind up best in show. Well, the multi-bridge and twister mill getting tons of press. Oh, extra, extra, read all about it. Faulty bridge causes headaches. That's a tragedy, John. On your door. Bad letters, harmless. Oh, oh, that looks full of harm, Johnny. Yeah, at least now Brandy knows she needs to keep her head up at all times. Well, then I hope it's not attached to your head. But this side is easy. There's oh, oh. well, there is that unbelievable. My hair's still on. Yeah, I think it might have drowned, but it is working for you, girlfriend, and you're just gonna love our next obstacle. I wish I would have told me them white cloud signs come out. Brandy, I had no idea. Stop lying to me. They're not lies. My nana called them unicorn whispers. Now go out there and make Papa proud. Man, she really isn't setting that course on fire, is she? Well, amazing things come to those who wait, like the cool new driver's ed. Check it out. Brandy's made it there with the fastest time so far today. Yeah, well, because she's first out, technically you're not wrong. Oh! The driver's ed is equipped with all the latest unsafety features. So uh, tell me what's your strategy going to be to win. I'm thinking that I'm going to stand opposite the sun, lift up my shirt. Hey, now. 
Eyes. Oh. And blind my opponents. I haven't seen anything that. Oh. There you go. Ladies love cool ballsy. Oh. oh. That D Johnny stands for punishing. Let's find out more about Rachel. Why since the finale of Friends. Rachel Whitey make a road trip. Oh. Oh. Catch up on your season fireworks. Ooh. Hit it, Bridget. Wipe out. Here I come. She's good. I'm Parents were psyched about that. Lay off. I predict my new friend's gonna bring good things to life. <laughs> Don't take it personally, Ballsy. She didn't recognize me either. <laughs> oh, got wipeout? Bridget found the P is strong enough for a man, but made for a woman. <laughs> Who else dares wear short shorts? That was kind of hard. What are you gonna do with the money if you win? I don't know. The what? Jasmine sounds a little dazed and confused, but Johnny, I bet she focuses laser-like out on the course. Maybe not really. Horns can be confusing, you know? Is it a horn? Is it an egret? Do it now? Actually, about 10 seconds ago, but now we're... Dazed and confused, Jasmine's locked in now. At least she's running in the right direction. Ballsy's still earning his cash on the corner. Oh! <laughs> Ballsy, what did I tell you about laughing at others' misfortunes? <laughs> it needs to come from the gut. Watch on the smash cam. <laughs> Dazed and confused, Jasmine ready to get behind the wheel. Hey, 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 watch the leather, man. That's new upholstery. Oh! She hits the gas and the gas hit back. Jasmine getting a look at the big balls. She's mesmerized by her motivator like it's a lava lamp. She outsmarts it. Maybe she's a motivator savant. Yeah, oh. I doubt it. That's what I love about the big balls, John. I keep getting older and they stay the same. Dazed and confused, Jasmine perplexed by the jiggleator. You thought walking and chewing gum was hard. Try jiggling. Oh! Dazed and confused, Jasmine wasn't disoriented before. She certainly is now. Twenty-five-year-old Emily Coyman. Wonder what's on her mind. My favorite host is Jill. Jill, come on, man. What's a host got to do to get a little love? So tell me about your special skills. Um, I'm really got weird joints. Like the arms twist around. Get ready. Sit forward. Really? How far can they twist? Back, and then we're just gonna go in. <laughs> oh, oh! I can't watch. I can't. Look, Jill, it's awesome. <laughs> Not exactly. gonna look at that. Uh, I'm getting lightheaded. Here's luck. Oh! Hey. Wow! I want to take a picture and barf all at the same time. Crazy arms, Emily, headed right for the wipeout. <laughs> oh, that was insane. <laughs> Too bad she's not double jointed in her face. <laughs> Even the craziest arms, Johnny can't overcome the power of the wipeout wall. Ballsy, I'm fast like a cheetah. Speed won't help you now. Ballsy will try to pump you up, but the wipeout wall will just knock you down. It usually helps when I'm nervous, and I'm kind of nervous right now. So. Inspiration, 90% perspiration. Well, Gene, you should have no trouble figuring out our wheel of misfortune. The trick here is to head clockwise, passing through one hole, then another, till you reach the opening, and then just a quick jump onto the platform. Sweaty Crystal in a sticky situation here. Oh. Ah. Well, I guess she's still wet behind the ears. Yeah, clearly she is not sweating the big stuff. Sweaty Crystal gliding on over to driver's head. Ready for you! No pit stops for her as she's making good progress. Oh, holy air <laughs> and drive. Crystal Ho now drawing a beat on the big balls. I'm gonna conquer this! Johnny, she is glistening with excitement. Oh. So $50,000 is a lot of cash. Uh, so what would you do with it? I am actually going to be planning my wedding. So you're engaged? No. Details, details. No. Uh, you gonna no. buy a guy? Or? No, actually, um, I've known my boyfriend for eight years and we've been dating for only a year, but I have my entire wedding planned out and he hasn't proposed yet. Is there anything that you would maybe want to say to him? Because you're on national Hurry TV. Hurry up. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Probably, yeah. <laughs> no, she's not. No, no. That is 22-year-old Samantha Prince. Wow, she's a beaut. Johnny, she's got a boyfriend. I'm talking about the vehicle. Look at her, John Low Miles. Three steering wheels. Oh, really, guys? And you thought cell phones and eyeliner were distracting. <laughs> oh, them's the brakes. <laughs> hey, you know the best thing about this car? It's a hybrid. Oh! oh. oh. Yeah, it runs on gas and wipeout. And now there's junk in the trunk. Oh, She'll get the dirt on Samantha before she got behind the wheel. Are you kidding me? 
No, we're not kidding either. John, sounds like Samantha's got just a touch ahead of herself. Let's head back to the lawnmower and 20-year-old Katrina Raimundo. Katrina works at a surf and skate shop, Johnny, according to her paperwork. Oh, she always over the first set. On to the second. Katrina. Oh, oh, good lords of Dogtown, that looked painful. Our lawnmower is laying down the lawn in order. Johnny, that was nasty. But nothing is as nasty as Katrina's favorite food, as Jill found out. You just oh eat butter like that. And what's up? no, no, I don't. I want to live. Butter? That is so unhealthy. Butter lover taking her questionable taste buds to our Chinese restaurant. Oh, a Shanghai surprise. Butter lover into the forbidden city. Gets a mouthful of chow mein and a backful of chow pain. She is unfazed, however, and now headlong through the sauces. Don't let her fool you, John. I bet she's going through butter withdrawal right about now. Yeah, see? She's trying to find butter anywhere she can. It's what they do. Hurdles the spring hole. Oh. Yeah, all right. Rub a little butter on it. Soy sauce flying. Oh, the humanity! Oh, the butter lover whipped. Bet after a run like that, everything hurts. Butterface. Meteors, locust, frogs. I hate this. This is so gross. Citadel legacy, outstanding. Now, if she only descended from a long line of tackling dummies, she would smoke this course. There's a job on my way. I can't just sit back. Well, that's great, but you know, most people come on game shows for cash. And to find out whether Drew Carey clothespins all of his old fat skin behind him. Come on, big money, big whammies. Oh, lawnmower made her blank on her blank. Tiffany took a spin on our wheel, and we lit her up like she was the letter O. I'd like to solve the puzzle. The answer is, oh, my lord. And now it's time to play everybody's favorite game show, Let's Make a Wipeout. Will Tiffany's Wipeout be Another big whammy, Johnny. She'll be leaving today with even more soy sauce and whatever waits for her behind lantern number three. Please let it be a new refrigerator. Oh! If you chose lantern number three... Up top, Carrie Chase, a whale trainer at an amusement park. This is for my whales! Hey, whaling, I love whales! Wait, she trained her whales to watch TV? That's ridiculous, John. She trained them to DVR it and watch it later. Hey, look, Carrie's whale! Don't worry, kids. Tank is dolphin safe. Oh, boy. Carrie loves her job, Johnny, and says she can do anything in water, but often trips on dry land. Lucky for her, our sprinklers are keeping our land anything to dry. Oh! Oh, down! But manages to stay out of the mud. She is clear and clean so far. Good girl, Carrie. Here's some mackerel. Now for her next trick, the scheme trick. Oh! oh. Mower having a whale of a time. But Carrie is up and not blubbering about that head. Oh! She lands right on her huffback. And yet still steering clear of the mud. She is well trained. Oh, got harpoon there. Oh, Lord. This whale trainer was chum in the water for our lawnmower. Carrie getting her flippers over to the treadmill. I love people! Apparently. Oh. Ew. Don't worry, it's low sodium. Oh, Kung Pao. Please don't get crazy with the soy sauce. Save the whale trainers. Free Carrie. Finally to that egg roll. Oh, yeah. Dang. Extra, extra soy sauce. Oh, she'll take that order to go. Egg roll knocks her in, and the whale trainer splashes everyone in the first couple of rows. What a run. Whale trainer Carrie Chase in with a solid time of 4.52. Here's some more macro, Carrie. You've earned it. About to be mulched back at our mowers is 29-year-old Allison Bishop. Oh, falls right on her grass. Big flip for Allison. Yo! Flipped again, but stays out of the mud safely through the first half. But the grass is never greener on the other side. Go! Oh, knocked back, but keeps going. Oh, Bishop goes big. Not one, not two, but three huge flips on the lawnmower. And not the only thing that's big about Allison. Watch this. Horrible. I don't let them fool you, Johnny. They are loving it. That's tasty. Good thing I was hungry. Ooh, ooh. And trust me, we've had more than our fair share. What? Oh, wow. <laughs> Triple out. Oh. I believe you. Who's next? Kidding. All right, guys. Mandy Watanabe is down here with me, but she forgot her clothes. <laughs> Hi, Mandy. <laughs> Sorry. We forgive you. Does the sensor bar follow you everywhere you go? I hope not. I have my bottom stay on. So what do you do? I bartend. Do you get hit on a lot? A little bit. Well, you know we've got some pretty hot guys here today. You planning on, I don't know, flirting with any of them? No. No, no, no. No? No. 
No. Potty Mandy, ready to show the nerds who's boss. They can only dream of taking orders from her. First stop, the wipeout car wash. Glad she's dressed for it. Oh! She forgot to roll up her windows, John. Man, she got soaked. Hey, you're the one with a filthy trunk. Mandy getting the deluxe wash today. Extra foam. Oh, Mandy, don't exit the car wash until the light turns green. Shoot me, where am I going? Not sure she's getting her money's worth, Johnny. Windshield's still mucky, which causes her to get a little lost en route to driver's ed. Oh, John, that was serious hit and run. Yeah, it looks like Mandy was trying to get the license plate, too. Four. G. Bikini bartender. She looks run down, John, but she is here to show that hotties have no fear. Well, maybe a little. Big balls, ready to have a beautiful woman fall all over. Oh. Oh, oh, oh! Well, she may not flirt with a nerd, but she was certainly caught in a compromising position with a big ball. Just when you thought it was safe to go on wipeout, we give you the Jiggalator. Oh, goodness. With extra jiggy. Oh, John, this is exactly what the Jiggalator was designed for. Creating wipeouts, right? Can you say something? Oh! oh. Beware of shifting wind direction, John. And shifting nose direction. Man! Last obstacle dead ahead, the double barrel. And today, it's being kept below freezing temperatures to churn ice cream for dessert. Enter from here, and then take an icy slide around to the exit on the finish platform. I don't think I'm gonna like this. Come on, it's ice cream and bananas. What's not to like? Oh, oh right on her ice cream cone. The bikini bartender finally reaching the alternate finishing spot. She comes in a little more than five minutes. John, I outstruck. Outsize. Can you do your best pose? Out vogue. The nerds, I'm hoping just to be more strategic than they. They obviously have the brains, we don't. Out, you said it, I didn't. How are you gonna beat them? I think I'm just gonna have to distract them. Out, understate the obvious. Shake it, don't break it! Out class, <laughs> out jiggling the nerds today. <laughs> Who's the next hot? The hottie was showing up this nerd by actually making progress on the course. <laughs> Yeah. That's Kara Silverman. She'll get up close and personal with this hottie. Oh, yeah, she's hot. Did Shadow Wolf put a spell on her? Apparently, she wins ugly face contests. <laughs> Come on, hottie. Don't try to out-ugly the nerds. It's all they've got. Ouch. <laughs> Best move of her career. <laughs> all right, let's return to the top of the course. Where... Now getting all dialed up at the top of the course is hottie Jocelyn Peck who Jill found out earlier has reason to spruce up. How do you feel about the nerds today? I love them, actually. You love them? Oh, do you have a boyfriend? No, I don't. <gasps> I'm feeling a love connection. Really? Would you date a nerd? Absolutely. Really? OK, I'm going to pick you out one. And you have to kiss him. Oh, boy. I'll think about it. The odd <laughs> ones always say they like you, John, but then you end up doing all their homework and chauffeuring them around on their real dates. Speaking from experience, huh? Yeah, like a girl would let me do her homework. <laughs> Ooh, washed away, like my dreams of being a prom king. I thought you were homeschooled. Well, it was a big fail. It's in my shirt and my pants. That's a lot further than our nerds will ever get. Nerd tease Jocelyn Peck rolling up to the deluxe phase of our car wash. <laughs> oh, oh, couldn't sweet talk her way past that, could she? Happy motoring, nerd tease, starting her driver's education. Too bad she can't use a nerd to help her through this course. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I wish I had my own nerd. You and Jocelyn are all alone on this, Jill, because today the hotties have been trying to crush the nerds. I don't want to the nerds! Oh, oh, both on and off the course. We're going to get you a boyfriend today. Yay! From from the guys here? Yeah, from the guys. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> have you seen them? Be pageant winners. Why did you look like that? <laughs> Out with the LARPer. If he was hot. Sure, the nerds appreciate your every day. Sheery shit, 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 your every day. Effort, but even the hotties' wipeouts are out of their league. Oh, oh beautiful. Oh, oh, breathtaking. Gorgeous. Oh, what a knockout. Even Miss Teen Southern California having a picture perfect day out there. Do. You know, her talent was falling down to the tune of old Susanna. Yeah, John, even though the hotties get dirtied up out there, they can find beauty secrets anywhere. Oh, oh. Oh, wait until you fall in the water. You'll get a great chemical peel. Mm. This is Johnny. Oh, look, the little baby. Her first steps in the nursery. Oh, I 
I am definitely not changing that. I'll take the next year. That's amazing. Aw, she ate her pureed peas. We should really invest in a bib. Yeah, and now she's into the strained carrots and organic applesauce. Oh, John, why do babies eat so much? <gasps> but look, she's walking. She's walking. I hope she takes the bottle. I have tried everything. And I mean everything. That was not good. I know, Jill. I spent 150 bucks on that pump. Laura, look at that. She's already overplaying with blocks. Well, they grow up so fast, John. Yes, they do. And let's hope she makes us proud parents here. Oh, John, I thought we discussed enough. Lindsay, ready for a blowout now in the wipeout nursery? Yeah, let's it. Yeah, this ought to be a typical Saturday morning for you. Oh, head first right into the peas. Party animal with another serving of veggies, carrots. Open to hatch, baby Wimsy. The airplane's coming in for a landing. Oh, wash. Awesome. Hey now, baby's first rager. Come here, baby bottle. Maybe she should be laying off the bottle. Ugh. Oh, squirted with formula. Yeah, I'm gonna have to call a party foul on that one, Johnny. Now she's about to have a block party, Johnny. Oh, oh she rocks it. Oh, you'll understand when you're older. What a party, John. She got to go bobbing for apples, be a human pinata, and play pin the tail on the Lindsay. At the finish platform. We love you, Red John. Name's Lindsay. Woo! Party of one. Totally not. Yes, you are, Lindsay. Who's next to the party? Marie Gerlach is down here with me. Marie and all of her hair. Holy Crystal Gale. I wonder what all her cat's names are. Marie, how long have you been growing that? 18 years. Does it ever get caught in things? Uh, seat belts are bad. Doorways are bad. My cat will play with it if it's hanging off the end of the sofa. Did I call that a what? There's the horn. Whoa! She went right for the pre-rinse on her way to the wipeout car wash, Johnny. Hammy's because Maria's coming in fully loaded. Yeah, here I come! Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, all the weight of her hair pulling her into the mud where she has a giant eel. Back. Oh, Johnny, that's her hair. Are you sure? I requested eels when the bear... Heads up! Were I don't think she can lift her head with that giant eel on her back, but our attendant doing his best... Yikes! <laughs> that towel right to the shoulder. Oh, I'd say she's suffering from braid damage. Oh, talk about having a bad hair day. John Marie's still conditioning. I think she just swallowed a six-foot hair. It's gonna take days for her hair to dry. <laughs> no, Jill, that's why I brought in the EX6000. Guaranteed to dry contestants in under five seconds. Really? Because it looks like that's just sort of blowing the mud around. Well, I adapted it for my prototype for a nuclear-powered chicken crisper. Cold fusion, John. Not as easy as it sounds. Interesting theory. Marie walking to the DMV for driver's ed now. Ah, her spinal column is sticking out. She's reptilian. Yeah, that's just the braid. Come on, Anderson. How many reptiles do you know who can French braid? They don't have the thumbs for it. Well, at least Marie doesn't have to worry about getting her hair stuck in a seatbelt, John. Oh. oh! Wait, John, I think her hair is stuck between the wheel and the airbag. Well, she's used to getting untangled from these hairy situations, Johnny. Oh! Airbags. More effective than hair removal than hot wax and more painful. Marie, now working her way up to the big balls after that blunt force trauma to the hair. Not sure of the upside of this competition, Johnny. Her wings won't even cover her shampoo costs. Quickly wiping the hair out of her mouth and eyes. Oh! oh the motivator giving her a serious case of split ends. Get a load of our hair club. Show off. Marie, now up to the jiggalator. Johnny, perhaps those long locks will help her on this obstacle. I don't know how, I'm just saying. Just that monster braid. Hey, a successful wow. hair transplant. She's a cross. Oh, oh, oh Marie, mm. recovery, Marie. Take a moment now, regain your composure. Oh. Oh. Hey, Jill, let's make sure she's okay before we laugh. Sorry. Eh, all right, she's great. Go to the replay. Check it out, her hair gets flat. One more obstacle left for our long-haired friend. Ow! In great? Who knew they had such discerning palate? Bangs out of time of more than eight minutes. I mean, that's okay. She's probably not going to make the cut. Uh-oh, hairball. By Eric Slapton. Ha-ha! <laughs> towed the wet contestant. Even mother of four Carrie Sparks is rocking some crazy tattoos. She must be a rodent. Oh, that was Lilith unfair. Touring life's a grind, Johnny. Carrie's luxury bus. Now at driver's ed. Oh, welcome to Owl's Fest. Yeah, with all this craziness, it's a good thing we have a motivator here for crowd control. Oh, please step away from the big balls. Oh, the contestant has left the building. Our party. Time to let that go, Johnny. Our cheering mom. She's got some pep in her step as she rushes into the car wash. Four kids, huh? So she's a cheerleader and a chore leader. Oh, and it looks like she's soiled her uniform. It's okay, moms are great at laundry. 
some extra cheer for this load. Back up, now doing a herky up the stairs, dodging towels, and yeah, not loving that locker room atmosphere. That tastes disgusting! Well, now you know how your kids feel about your meatloaf. I can't taste Ooh, I think she needs a spotter, John. Never saw that coming. Fortunately, we did. Your mom just got grounded. It's your mom, looking as tired as a mother of four. She moves on to driver's ed. This isn't like getting behind the wheel of the old carpool for travel soccer. Oh, drive defensive. Drive, drive defensive. So, are you ready? Woo! Easy there, Jessica. Foot phone contracts are super expensive to break. There's the horn. <laughs> oh, Jessica, slaughtering Mrs. Bravo's business. Look at her move, Johnny. She is running up her phone. Bill. Nice. All failed. Sorry, I'm submerged in mud right now and can't take your call. Foot phone now out of that mud, getting a signal back. Yeah, a signal that she should quit while she's ahead. Oh, make that in the head. The trap door dialing right in on her. Foot phone enrolling in driver's ed. Now she'll need a hands-free device. Good news about foot phones is there's no radiation. Ooh. Oh. Bad news, the constant falling. Nipped in the earbud. Hey, foot phone, hang up and drive. Returning to the head of the course, John, one of our youngest competitors, 19-year-old Christina Wilson. Can I do a somersault? It's your choice, Christina. This is your moment. Oh, OK. Can I stand back there? Again, this is your time. But you're taking a lot of it, so hurry up and say something interesting. I'm going to do a somersault and then say it. Oh, my god. I'm not going to wipe out. Christina, not so good with the whole making decisions thing, as Jill discovered before her run. All right, uh, Christina, what do you do? Oh, uh, right now, I'm a student, but All right. I can't quite decide on my major. My major changes about every week or so. Are you going to be indecisive on our course? I'm going to make up my mind. You sure you're going to make up your mind? 200%. Are you positive? 100%. 100. I'll see it was 200. Now it's 100. Hey, I was confused in college, too. How's that? Well, I had a minor in psychology and a problem. Christina getting the full service treatment from our car wash. Yeah, I hope it comes with a rainy day guarantee. Oh, Christina may be undeclared, but we've made our decision on the best obstacle of the day. Everybody's getting worked over at the wipeout car wash. Oh, the deluxe treatment includes getting hosed. Oh, what? Polished, mercy, degreased, and regreased. Oh, because here at Wipeout, we remember those tans. You know what they say, John? The family that sprays together. How's things been since the show? Are you guys more popular? I mean, I've always been popular, but. God, Jillian, so modest, so orange. The Guype sisters will run in birth order today, Johnny. That puts firstborn Lauren first up. Then it's middle guy, what's her face? Can never remember her name, John. Middle child syndrome. That's Gianna, and then we have the youngest, Jillian. And she is no one trick pony. Last time she made it to the wipeout zone. Well, you can get favorable odds on a dark horse. Well, first shall be first, so it's Lauren at the sweeper dive. Go! The sweeper arm has no respect for the eldest. Now comes the middle guy, whatchamacallit? I'm gonna call her Gianna. Who's that now? Oh, and the middle sister gets caught right smack in her middle. Don't suppose the youngest guy was paying attention to learn anything, do you? Oh, that's a wipe out of a different color. The sweeper arm's tanning everyone's eye. Well, the middle guy, not even gonna try anymore, is looking for a little attention from the big ball. Oh, and I think she just found some. Oh, Johnny, I may not remember her name, but I will never forget that wipe out. The dark horse Jillian jockeying for a position on the big balls. This is awful. This is going to look worse. Actually, I think it could look worse if it had a spray tan. No judgments. Oh, oh holy fake and bake. Yeah, if you look closely, I think Jillian left some of her tan on the big balls. The oldest guy here with some doubts on the mood swing. I don't want to do that. Oh, come on. It's easy. I'll walk you through it. Hand me that megaphone. All right. You want to get to your feet and make your way to the edge. No, I like... Guys. <laughs> oh, boy. Just pretend you're a spinning ballerina or a black swan with a scorching tan. Johnny, I don't think this is working. Let's go check on Dark Horse guy. Wow, Jillian again showing up her sisters with a great time. Dark Horse halfway through the Wipeout cafeteria, and now it's a hot dog and pony show. Ew, grape juice of wrath. She has one hot dog left. Oh, 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 and it sends her back to the paddock. On the bright side, that grape juice is the color she was shooting for with her tan. Oh, well, you can lead a Dark Horse to water. Jillian gets caught up in a sibling rivalry between hot dogs. Well, they don't like to share. Dark Horse once again outdoing her older sisters. Solid time here, 407. Could be worse. Just ask your big sister. 
Lauren, I just wanted to let you know you can take your time. Your little sister has already beat you. Yeah, thank you. No worries. Stay golden. Never surrender. I stand corrected. And never is that saying more true than when facing down giant spring-loaded pork products. It's gonna take more than grape juice to stop Deborah. And Guns climbs onto that last hot dog. Oh, it will not go down easy. Never give up, never surrender. Good one, Jill. You ought to put that on a t-shirt. Oh, Deborah takes an all-star shot to the head. Yeah, our hot dog takes a bite out of her. But to Deborah's credit, she never gave up, she never surrendered. And even though she says tarnations to say You have a broken heart. What is that about? I know. I have a broken heart because my ex-boyfriend broke up with me a year ago and left me heartbroken ever since. Would you like to say something to him? Yeah, you tell him. You missed out. Just kidding. I miss you. Oh, yeah. That's telling him. Oh, man. She's still not over him. These things take time, John. I still haven't gotten over the loss of the XFL. Oh. 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 Chase gets dumped hard by Ballsy's playground. The sad part is, that just makes her want Ballsy that much more. Chase, we're all often attracted to things that are bad for us. Yeah, like me and hitchhikers. Maybe Driver Zed will turn Broken Heart its pity party into a joyride. You've seen the stunt before, right? Good point. Oh, well, that'll make her forget him. In fact, that'll make her forget everything. John, these obstacles have been breaking up with contestants all day, and they do not let them down easy. Yeah. Oh, just, oh I... You know what I do? This is my favorite thing in life. I just... I love cupcakes. Five. Jill, could you tell us what's the best cupcake I've ever had in my entire life? Uh, Jill, you're you're on camera now. Jill. <laughs> Something smells like chocolate. Typical brown noser. Parting is such sweet sorrow. <laughs> oh, I think we should see other people. Oh. <laughs> Our qualifier flying by. We are already to the final contest of the day. Who also happens to be our youngest, high schooler Roxanne Wilson. Oh, high schooler flipping on that thing like she's a mackerel. Oh, looks like senior ditch day came early. Yeah, let that be a lesson to all you kids. Don't smoke, don't drink, don't do wipeout. Driver's Ed here should be fresh in the mind of a high schooler. For Sam doesn't have her license yet, this could be some invaluable experience behind the wheel. Right you are. Oh, oh airbag just SAT'd off on her. First rule of the road, Roxanne, never drive angry. Wish someone would have told that to our airbag. Excellent point. Roxanne now wobbling her way up to the big balls. Don't want to do that. Hey, just remember it was your call. Oh, ooh, breakfast club. Oh, my God. Motivator really stuck up on her, John. Just like graduation. College loans, marriage, kids, air loss. Making a living will. John, come back to us, John. Sorry. Roxanne making good time, already up to the jiggulator. Oh, ah! Tipsy daisy. Awkward moment, awkward fall. Even Napoleon Dynamite is somewhat cringing at that one. One more obstacle for the high schooler. Oh, that's not fun. Not fun? Ballsy's aquatic adventure, not fun? I thought all you kids loved Ballsy. Our high schooler close to finishing her course load. Oh, A minus. A good try, minus the landing. But Roxanne gets some choice picks for her yearbook. Best friends forever. Oh, the time we had. See you next fall. Seniors rock. You are too good to be forgotten. We had a blast. Hey, remember that time you were on Wipeout? Well, I hope she remembers it all. High school with a time of 356, voted fourth most likely to get into the next round. W! Give me a knife out! High five! What's that spell? Wow, I'm amazed these people have jobs. What business are they in, Johnny? Hedge funds? Arms dealing? Actually, children. I thought that was my next guest. This is daycare worker Shannon Jewell and her supervisor, Joseph Morgan. Daycare is a tough racket, Johnny, especially since the cooties outbreak of 06. Shannon tells us Joseph is a great boss. Hope they play well together on the Caterpillar Crossing. Job here, make it across both sets of Caterpillar platforms while holding hands. Buddy system intact as they look both ways. Oh, oh, Shannon, oh, well, Joseph stays dry. Yeah, she must be exhausted. Always getting up at the crack of dawn. Are my shorts still on? Hey, now, that sounds like daycare after dark. Caterpillar run number two. Oh, <laughs> nap time. Oh, business as usual for our daycare duo. Covered in mysterious brown goop. Over to driver's head, boss man Joseph leading the way. Oh, and he is getting hit right in the lunch money. Watch out for that one, that one kind of hurt. Joseph and Shannon, very nice, taking turns on the wheel like big boys and girls. Oh, 
Ooh, and he decided to make some mud pies. Through each other's briefs. I wonder if they have to sign a waiver before every day. Oh, you may approach the bench with your face. Who's there? Marcus made it over with legal ease, but his lover and employee Sarah held in contempt by the caterpillar. Marcus and Sarah sentenced to a mandatory class at driver's ed. Oh, it's so romantic, Johnny. They can chase ambulances together. Oh, oh what a gentleman letting Sarah go first. Oh, oh, oh Marcus thrown out of oh. Hey, the girlfriend gets kicked out, too. Marcus recuses himself, and driver's ed has a quick sidebar conference with Sarah's spine. Everybody can get hammered and do things they'll regret Monday morning. I quit. So let's head back up to the top, T. We have veterinarians Lori Polkowski and her employee Kendall Younger. Oh, it's great to have a couple of vets here, Johnny. My pet Rock needs his yearly physical. Yeah, well, let's set that appointment up later. Right now, our veterinarians are ready for the caterpillar crossing. Hey, Johnny, what do caterpillars eat? Ouch! Oh, please, but not usually at that kind of velocity. Oh, that was rough. Yeah, the vet's having trouble with our caterpillars. Maybe they're not pupa people. You know, if there's one thing that's impressed me today, it's the corporate synergy. No, truly touching. Yeah, an HR nightmare touching. Get out there! Come on, come on! I am! Let's catch in some rays, Johnny. Back at the top are Megan Amaya and her employee, Savan Vardy. We're going to get far! Hey, watch out! I just let him play through. They work at the local country club, and as Jill found out, today was a mandatory company outing. Whose idea was this to come on the show? Mine. Mine. Yours. And, and why? You think it's going to be easy? Yeah, I do. I'm going to say I had no say in the matter. I was just told, tomorrow we're going to Wipeout. So, <laughs> so that's Mine part of your job, job description happened. is going on Wipeout. Yeah, yeah. it's actually my contract now. <laughs> well, that's what you get for not reading the fine print. The country clubbers at the Jigilator. They play about 20 yards from the Red Tees. Very severe dog leg. Yeah, baby! Employees of on doing some motivating while our guard dogs are doing some mutilating. Save those puppies! Johnny, what do you think? A five iron from here? Yeah. Oh. 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 Something with a little more law. Oh, that's a mulligan. You're an amazing boss. I really do love you. But I'm gonna kill you. Well, that's a funny way of asking for a raise. Savon, the first to make it onto the double barrel. Eesh. Yeah, beware of those stray milk and cookies. Oh, Takes a chocolate chip shot from our cookies. Savon drops into the barrel. Yeah, it looks like she's gonna walk the course, Johnny. Oh, check that. She may need a cart. Oh, isn't that just par for the course? Actually, I'm showing bogey, Jill. All I know is the Wipeout Country Club has some pretty steep dudes.